The Flex Importer provides you with an extremely powerful and efficient way to import your data into Little Green Light. This video will guide you through LGL's three-step importing process. We'll begin by providing some quick tips on getting your file ready to be imported, then we'll walk through each step of the import process. Lastly, we'll discuss managing your completed import files, how to create templates, as well as how to undo imports. So let's begin by reviewing some basic tips on preparing your file for import. First, be sure that your file is either in Excel or CSV file format. These are the only two file format types that LGL can work with. Next, we'd recommend that each of the column headers in your spreadsheet be uniquely named. This will assist you in more easily mapping your data to LGL's fields. Be sure to check out our other helpful hints about formatting your data fields by showing the help text in the Flex Importer, as well as reading our knowledge base documentation on preparing your file for import. So let's now review the three-step importing process. The first step is the uploading of your import file. The next step is mapping of the data in your import file to ensure that it goes into the correct LGL fields. And then lastly, you'll review and commit that data to your Little Green Light account. Let's look at each step a bit more closely. Once your file is ready, you'll want to upload it to Little Green Light. To begin, navigate to the Home menu and click on the Flex Importer option in the sub-navigation bar. From there, click on the green Import a File button and select the CSV or Excel file that you wish to upload from your computer. Once you've chosen your file, click on the blue Upload File and go to Step 2 button. That brings us to the second step in our process. In this step, we'll be setting up our record matching and updating preferences for this import file, as well as setting up the mapping of the data in the import file to the fields in Little Green Light. By selecting the correct matching and updating options for your import, you can significantly reduce the number of possible duplicates created. We'll briefly review the record matching options here, but strongly recommend that you review our knowledge base for an in-depth discussion about matching preferences prior to starting your import. The easiest way to ensure that LGL can find a match to an existing record is by matching on the LGL constituent ID. If your import file includes an LGL constituent ID, the Flex importer will automatically know which record you wish to add information to via the import. Another sure way is matching on external ID you've associated with constituent records in LGL. If your import file contains external IDs, the Flex importer will find a match on that field as well. If those IDs are not present, however, then you have three additional options to search for possible matches, including searching on email and name, matching on email address with no name match being required, or matching on name only where no email match is required. Any or all options will be searched for a possible match if selected. The most conservative of these three options is the name and email match because an email address is a fairly unique identifier, with a name only match being the least conservative option. We'd recommend using the name only matching criteria if you're confident that you don't have multiple records in your database that share the same name. Once you've set up the matching preferences, you'll want to map how the data in each of the columns in your spreadsheet will be mapped to the fields in your Little Green Light account. The column on the far left of the mapping screen contains the names of the column headers from your import file. 
If your column headers are named exactly as they are found in Little Green Light, they will be mapped to the correct LGL field automatically. If the column name in your import file is not, rec it's not a recognized field name in LGL, you can manually select the field you wish to map it to by clicking the drop down arrow in the field name box to the right. Any field that is left as do not import will not be imported into your little green light account. As you are mapping fields, you'll see a real time preview of how that record will look in LGL. You can toggle through the preview area to review each record in your import file by clicking on the next record or previous record options. This is a great way to spot check to see that things have been mapped as you expected. You can easily make updates to the mapping before moving on to the next step. Once you're satisfied with how your data has been mapped, you can select the blue Save and Go to Step 3 button located at the bottom right hand corner of the page. Your file is now being prepared for import. Please note it is not yet being added to your LGL account. If you wish to pause the import process, you can do so at this point. Depending on the size of the import, it might be ready almost instantaneously or could take several minutes. Once the Flex importer has processed your file and mappings, you'll see a message at the top of the page that notifies you that it is now ready for review. Remember, no data has actually been committed in your live database at this point. In the last step of the import process, you can choose from several different bulk actions, including accepting or rejecting the import as a whole, modifying the mapping, or selectively rejecting just the new or updated records. The import summary area provides a look into the import as a whole, including a breakdown of new records versus records being updated. You can easily filter these records by those designations and view them. Each record can also be reviewed individually, as well as saved or rejected individually. Some individual record actions you can take include searching for a constituent match You can also view all the fields that are being added or updated by clicking on the Show Full Records button. Lastly, if you wish to make changes to the data that was in your import file on an individual basis, you can do so by clicking on the Edit Set Source Record option. And here you can make individual edits to pieces of information within the record. Once you've made changes, just simply click Save. If you wish to modify the mapping for the entire import, you'll want to select the Modify Field Mapping button. This will bring you back to the second step in the process where you can make changes, add defaults, or even set up rules to ensure you have all the fields mapped exactly the way you want. Once you click Save, the file processing will begin again and you'll have the opportunity to review the import and accept it when ready. Once the import has been completed, you'll see a congratulations message at the top of the page and you'll see a link to view the records in LGL that have been added or updated by this import. Changes made through this import are now live in your LGL account. Now that the import has been completed, it's helpful to know how you can access and manage those import files. By navigating to the home menu of the Flex Importer screen, you'll be able to access the list of your open active imports, your completed imports, any rejected imports, as well as any import templates you might have saved. If after reviewing, the records live in your database you wish to make changes, you can undo your most recent import 
To do so, navigate to the listing of your completed imports. Click the Review button for the import file you wish to undo. Select the Undo Import button in the Import Actions area. Note that only the most recent import can be undone. If you need to undo multiple imports, you can undo them in the reverse order in which they were added. There are several other actions available on the Home menu, including editing, reviewing, or deleting open active imports, or downloading the original import file, or saving the mapping as a template for future imports. Rejected imports also have the additional action of reactivating an import. This will bring that import back into the third step of the import process so you can review and accept as described earlier. We hope you found this brief overview helpful in understanding how the Flex Importer works. We encourage you to explore our knowledge base for more in-depth articles on preparing your data for import and the mapping of all types of data.